Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I'm going to do a completely new project. And I've never made this before, but we'll see how it turns out. And I'm going to be making a cloak. So, here's the beginning of it. I have just cut out... Actually, let me get my measuring thing and I'll show you what So, I took this and I measured how high my face is. And then I added on about how much I want it to be able to sag down with the hood on the cloak. So, I measured it out to be around, I think, 20 inches. And I'm over I can always make it smaller, but I can't really make it bigger. So, I'm doing this 20 inches by 18 inches. You know, I measured it. <laughs> so, this is 20 inches by 18 inches, and I'm going to be just cutting it out right now. I actually had it, it was, I cut it out from right here. So this piece, I cut out from right here, and then I just flipped it and put it right here so I can, I can cut out the next piece. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the square that I just cut out. Um, I have... I believe two yards of fabric. Two yards of fabric. And it's all just plain black. I got it out of the dollar fifty section, I think, at Walmart. And so here's the end of it, which I just cut out. So the end. I cut this right here and then I flipped it on top of each other, on top of this, and I pinned it down and cut around the edges. So this is going to be my Cloak. Hood. Yeah. It's going to be my hood. Okay, so the next step here is I showed you the rectangles last. And what I've done with those is I just sewed them together on two of the corners. And then, if you can see, I folded down the seam. You might have to get really close to see it if you have to focus in on it. Anyways, I folded down the seam and sewed it on either side all the way up until I couldn't anymore because of this corner. Um, and the same all the way down. So these are, and then this front one actually is also just folded over so that I can have it all ready and clean for it. This is the hood right here, so. Here's the oh, look. And then, the next step after that, I'm just, I'm going to set this aside for right now, is I took the rest of the fabric, and basically, I think it's like a little bit more than a yard and a half, because I had two yards when I first started, so I think it's maybe a yard and three fourths. So, I, what I did with that is it's still basically just exactly how you buy it. The only thing is I hemmed the edges to make sure that they're not going to like fly all over the place and you know you need to hem it and then I just fold it over the top and you can see right here I fold it over the top and I sewed it so that's how it's looking right now and the next step for me is I actually have a ribbon with a safety pin tied to the end and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take it all the way to the end and I'm going to stick it in this hole that I made with bending it over. So I'm just going to work it through there. This might take a couple minutes working it through. Okay, so I, I have just finished taking it all the way through with just the ribbon that I had. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it around my shoulders like I would if, you know, I was going to be wearing it. and. And I'm just going to pull it to the length that I want it on this ribbon. So I think I'm going to have a little clasp right here, something to tie it with. So I'm probably going to want it to just go to the bottom of each of the ribbon. And I'm going to sew it that way. So I'm going to arrange it. So these are going to stay right where they're at. And see how this isn't quite even all the way around? I'm going to adjust it. Will you hold on to this part? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to throw a part through, yeah. 
<laughs> you keep pulling it out of my hand. There we go. Hold it tight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to adjust it, the gathers, so that they look good and they're equal in all the different areas. And it's not more than another area. Now that I have it the way that I want it, I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew right next to the ribbon. I can sew on the ribbon if I want and just sew it in each spot on this end and on this end and then sew it this way so that it's not going to move. So I might just end up doing that. It's just a little bit of a reason. So, now what I've done is I just took the hood. The hood was not the same size as this part of the, the case. So what I did to make that, to get it fixed, is I actually just pinned it in the middle. I found out where the middle was on both of them. I folded them in half. And I pinned this part, which is the middle, to the middle of this. Then I pinned the end, and I pinned the end over here. So there were some gaps left in here. So I went and made it, I pulled it completely straight, put a pin, pulled it completely straight, put another pin, did the same on this side. And then right here, I, I'll show you, I'll show you an example. So that was what was left over. And I was like, oh, okay, what am I going to do? So I don't want to gather it because that would be a lot more work. So instead what I did is I just took it and pulled it out so I could feel exactly where it was in the middle. And I pulled it down into the middle right here. So then I pinned it. And what that's going to do is going to give it a little bit of a gather in the back that's just really uniform. And then I did the same with this one. I pulled it until I got the middle, and then I brought it down into the middle of these two pins. Pinned it. And the same right here. So I took that and I pinned it right there. And you see I already did that on this side too. So that is all ready to go. I probably should make sure the pins go all the way through. So now that this is all pinned, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. Make sure to always put the, the hemmed sides in the inside of the cloak so that's not what, sh what is showing. So this is how it's going to look on the outside. So this is, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sew over this part and that should be the last step other than making a little class. So what I've done is I've gone to the store and I've gotten these little clips. This is what's going to clip the, the thing together. You see that? Uh-huh. I've also gotten this. This is for my mom's costume. She's um, Winifred, the main witch in Sanderson Sisters. And this is, it's got like a little eyeball, so she's going to have that on her necklace. And then this is also going to go on the outside of the clip, kind of like that. You see what that looks like. Okay, so first I'm going to sew these on. These are just like a buttonhole. I'm just going to sew the buttons on, both in, like right here, right on the seam, and the other one right on the other one, on the other side. Okay. That's what it looks like. I just put it on right, in, right at the seam of the, the hood and the cloak. So that's what it looks like, but now, I'm going to do a little bit extra, something that I thought would look really good. Take this and just put it right there. And the way I'm going to attach it, can you hold that? Uh -huh. Is with a hot glue gun. The easy way. And I've got to pull it down a little bit. Where did I? Oh, here it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and put hot glue on the inside. Careful not to burn yourself to me. Okay, that's very, very hot. Ooh! Ah. I can feel the metal like burning my skin. Wow. 
think it makes it look a lot more intricate and like magical, doesn't it? Ooh, I can feel it heating up. Yeah. All that steam is coming off. Yeah. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh boy. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ooh, look at all that. That's burned skin. I keep burning it. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. It was worth the pain. The latch. The finished product looks very intricate and detailed.